channel so today we have a bit more of a chatty video mm. it's gonna be a bit more of a longer one guys i'm not gonna lie so please come grab some snacks today i'm going to talk all about how i film and edit my instagram videos so many people wanted to know this i get comments and questions like this all the time so quickly before i start i do have a lisp still i can still feel it whenever i talk and i've got a freaking ulcer in my tongue right now so i'm talking very funny so in case you didn't know i do have braces in my teeth so guys if you want to take your instagram to the next level if you want to gain followers quickly the top tip that i have for anyone is you need to film videos all of the big instagrammers they all do videos and i always wondered how people get to like such high followings and stuff like that it's because they do videos near enough every single day or every other post is a video so let me just quickly give you a background story on my instagram journey so i started to do instagram probably like just under two years ago and i just started with just random makeup selfies and all that stuff and i love doing all that but i do find that it's very hit and miss with photos unless you've got like a high amount of people that's following you you don't get that much likes you don't get that much interaction whereas with videos so many people watch it more you can see how many people viewed it instantly on instagram so it makes your view count look higher people don't have to double tap for it to look like a view people can just watch it automatically it counts as a view underneath so when brands come on your page and stuff like that it looks a bit more or like mm, she's got high engagement a lot of people are watching so yeah it just makes it look a bit whatever this is all good on your instagram page if you guys don't know i post a video on my instagram every single day yep it's a fucking struggle let me tell you it's so hard but with these tips here honestly if i can do it you guys can do it too filming batch videos that's like a big plus i'm going to talk about all the little steps also when i film videos give you like tips and stuff like that i don't think there's a video like this on youtube on how to film beauty instagram videos so hopefully this video will help some of you guys out give me a thumbs up please down below I even wrote notes, guys, on my phone here for me to remember everything. So with Instagram videos, you have to think you can't just upload one a week, one here and there for it to be successful. No, guys, if you do it like that, unless your video is like super, super amazing, it might like reach thousands of people. But if that is the case, you need to ride the wave, bitch. Ride the wave! Ride it, ride it. I don't know the song with videos right i find that video has like a longer lifespan than a photo when you upload a photo on your instagram you probably get the most amount of likes on the first like one two five six hours maybe and then afterwards your photo starts dying so it starts getting buried up in people's feed people don't see it anymore unless they kind of visit your page and they go through your things and like everything with videos however your video can constantly be still getting views like fucking months before it's even posted and also there is a lot of pages that just repost videos a lot of people want to find new people to repost new fun videos new crazy kind of videos so when you do videos you have so much more chances to get reposted whereas when you do photos you can only get reposted by the brand you tagged in the photo so just say if you use a morphe and you take a photo the only person you kind of get reposted by is morphe whereas if you do videos and you include a morphe palette maybe morphe might be posted that video as well as all these other people People like you have Huda Beauty, Make Girls, Peachy Queen's blog. There's so, so, so many hashtags you can use because these pages, they solely repost videos and everyone wants to see videos people just like randomly scrolling and be like oh what's that product i've seen it in action you know and all that jazz so definitely think about doing videos if you are not already okay so the way i film my videos is i film like four to like six even seven a day sometimes so i do batch filming and that is the key to getting videos up consistently the worst is when you're like oh i wish i had a video but you don't have anything filmed editing is like a whole other thing but you have to have the video there for first we do edit anything right so you have to make sure when you film you don't just film like one look because then you're not only having one video so you have to constantly kind of like film 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 and then you can kind of prop them out you know you have to do it every day like me you just do it like maybe like two times a week or three times a week as long as you're consistent with it i find if you only just post one up here and there one up here and there you won't get your views that you want so that these repost pages follow you so whenever you upload anything like that they will see your post and be like oh 
look, she's done another video, and then you, they get reposted like that. So when I'm filming my videos, this is the order that I would film stuff in, and this, all my other friends that does that blogging and stuff, when I tell them, they're like, oh, that's a good idea. So I'm going to leave all the information down below, but this is how I film, okay? So I just say I come into the room, I've got all my lights and everything set up. I do talk about all my lighting and everything in my how I edit my Instagram photos video. When I film, I turn on the camera, obviously I have no makeup on, I start off really, really blank, and the first video I would film is a mask video so I'll do like a skincare video like I get like so many skincare products in a lot of people love seeing skincare as well they love seeing mask peel off masks are the easiest to film because you don't have to go downstairs and wash your face and all that stuff you literally just peel it off and then use like a cleanser like a micellar water to take off the excess and then that's a video there and then the second video I will start is like my foundation prep so like primer moisturizer foundation highlight and contour this is my second or maybe my first either skincare or highlight and contouring those are my two most popular things that i film whenever i do those i know it's going to do like a, a good job it's going to do well so whenever i do like highlight and contour i use you can use powder products but i find a lot of people like to see videos with cream products and i'm not gonna lie guys you kind of do have to do the whole like little clickbait thing not really clickbait but you kind of want to do the extreme you guys see all the time in instagram videos people like to see all this crazy like contouring with spoons contouring with dildos contouring with fucking a shoe i don't know people like to contour all this crazy stuff because people like to click on it and then jay if you're producing something you want people to watch it right so you can't be angry and stuff like that you always get these stupid comments about oh my god who would actually hire and contour like oh my god who's got time for that but bitch it's a fucking video we're trying to get the views bitch you know what i'm saying no, I'm saying, guys. No, I'm saying. So when I highlight and contour, I literally do like the crazy stripes. I do like darkest concealer. I do like the lightest concealer I'm up against it. I blend it and make it look crazy. And people like to see when you look crazy at the start, and then at the end you look all nice and glamorous. Like that's what they like to see they like to see like the whole i don't know the whole steps and stuff like that and that is what brands like to repost as well crazier the video and all these like faces and all that stuff people like to repost that stuff you have to remember that when you do makeup for video you have to make it a bit more bolder if you do it very very subtle on camera with all these lights and stuff like that it will kind of wash it out when i film an instagram video i would do like stripe 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 or sometimes i do like dot even though in like normal life or real life i would never like worry about putting dots all over my face because you can just fucking whack it on you know but obviously for videos you want to achieve that oh my god effect you know when they do like lots of little crazy dots and then whenever i film as well guys very important tip when i'm filming i always think oh my god what could my thumbnail be for me personally i don't take photos separately some people i do see on instagram they do a bit more like clickbait and they will take a photo and they'll kind of edit it with like a flame or something like that and they'll do like something extra that's not even in the video so that people will click on that because of their thumbnail and thumbnails are very important guys i never pick thumbnails when i'm just like because then i will just upload a photo you know what i mean when i do like thumbnails i'll be like <gasps> when i film honestly guys you should see me i'm literally like <gasps> and i literally hold it for like two seconds so that when i edit i'll know like, oh this could be the thumbnail you know and i do that kind of multiple times when i'm filming and then i'll kind of have like a variety of options to pick when i'm choosing the thumbnail later on okay then after highlight and contouring i will do my eyes on camera and then sometimes i'll do my brows sometimes i do my brows before my foundation but sometimes i just do my foundation and then i'll go on top of my eyebrows and then i'll do my eyes lashes liner and then i'll put my lip product on and then i'll do like a setting spray and then that will be another video so i literally just film this all in one go guys okay so i don't like take off the makeup and do it again i just kind of build up on it so when i'm doing like foundation and stuff like that i'll literally like stop and then cut the clip and then i'll start filming again doing the eyes and stuff like that so then that's when i know later on when i kind of edit i can put the pieces all together okay and then afterwards once all my makeup is done like now my makeup is done then afterwards i'll film like a chest video so this is if i'm doing like a batch filming day i want to film loads and loads of videos so i just done that before i filmed this video so i've done like a tanning chest video a lot of people love seeing stuff like on the body i they just like to see a bit of skin go <laughs> I think it's just because it's not like the normal thing so a lot of brands like to repost it because it looks like quite cool and I literally do the most when I do like these videos so I could just wear a top like this like this is just like a big pajama top and I just put it down like this or sometimes I even feel topless guys literally my tits are hanging out but obviously because I'm cutting and you can't see none of the sagginess that below you know <laughs> So I literally put like this and then I'll squeeze like a big blob on. You guys probably see my Instagram videos where I literally put like, I go crazy, right? So I'll squeeze like loads out and then I'll be like, oh my god, shit. This is literally the faces that I make. I'm like, 
And then I'll literally film like a couple different expressions. So I'll be like, and then I'll do like the other. Like, I don't even say oh shit anymore. I literally just say, but yeah, this is all the secrets, guys. I got you, girl. I got you. And then afterwards, I'll try to blend some of it out on camera. And then obviously, because I put so much on my fucking chest, it's going to be so hard to blend out, right? So I'll be like doing a kind of motion. And then afterwards, I'll turn off the camera. And then I'll use like the mitt to like keep blending, keep blending, keep blending. Because otherwise, you'll kind of get loads and loads of footage, like half an hour footage of you blending out. You don't want that. You want to film precisely what clips you want. So later on, when you edit, you have to edit like a whole long 30 minute video, you know? So that's also another little tip, <laughs> two tips. And then afterwards, when it's kind of like blended, I've still got a little bit left to blend in. That's when I turn back on the camera and then I'll kind of keep going in with my mitt and then it's going to be all nice and blended. So that's how you get it from like really, really like not blended. Turn off the camera, blend it all off camera and then turn on the camera and then blend the last little bit. So that when you edit, it'll go like really smoothly like that. So you have the clips that you want to piece together and then afterwards when i do chest bronzing i can also do a hair video and trust me guys that like, i am not good at hair whatsoever but people don't need to know how to feel like fancy fucking hair you, know, you can just be straightening your hair you can literally just be putting a bun in your hair like i've done a bun video literally put a bun up like this and it's filling my hairline a little bit with like eyeshadow and that video got a million views so it could be a very simple basic video people like to see basic stuff as well you know people want to see something that oh my god they can achieve that at home like it's so easy to do you don't have to do this big crazy fucking hair do so obviously if you do do that that's great and people will love to see it as well but you don't have to be put off because you don't know how to do hair because i know hair is something that a lot of people don't like to do but honestly even if you put your hair like in the middle parting you know break it apart brush your hair out maybe use like a fucking heat ironing hairspray or whatever spray it on straighten out your hair then you can plait your hair in two things and then at the end you can even like tie a little elastic around it and then that could be a fucking video do you know what i mean it's all about like showing people what products you're loving at the moment a lot of people like to see like all new products and you can even show like maybe one side of your hair straightened and you can pull it out as well so your hair will look bigger so you can show like if you didn't pull it out it would be like a really small plait if you pulled it out it would be a big plait a lot of people like to see stuff like that so things like that would also really help after you film a hair video you can even film like how to change your makeup into day and night as well i've done that before where literally you have your makeup you end up taking some of it off and then maybe putting on darker lip put more black eyeshadow on and change the look up changing your hair and that could be another video there you know there's like so many videos you can film all in one day one of my other favorite videos to film is taking off my makeup as well so even if i don't have time to film the whole day when i come home and i've got like loads of makeup on from going out on to an event and stuff like that i'll still turn on my camera and film the process of taking off my makeup because a lot of people love to see that because a lot of people love skincare so this is what i do for videos okay so normally you see me go like <gasps> like that and then sometimes i'll bring it from a different angle and then when you see like the reverse clips as well sometimes i reverse it so it's just a different way to bring the product into shot so i'll literally like put into frame like this make sure it's in focus and then afterwards i literally just drop it like this and then all the time my hand is underneath catching the product because it's happened to me before where i dropped the fucking product and it smashed all over the floor like Fuck! that is so annoying guys when i drop it my hand is like this catching it below here okay remember to catch it bitch because otherwise you break your becca highlighter <laughs> bitch this is what it's gonna look like when i reverse it on final cut pro go ahead put that section in okay make sure it's in focus and then i drop it people love to see when you look crazy as well so like a lot of times i'll put like a dark lipstick on and then i'll put like an oil and i'll make it like all go like crazy and stuff like that and then that could be your thumbnail the thumbnails are the best when you look the most craziest okay that's what people want to click on they don't want to see the crazy they don't like to see the crazy crazy and then afterwards i will take off all my makeup and then i'll do like my night skincare routine and then afterwards i'll do a final mask video it's more of like a clay mask before i go to shower for the evening or I'll do like a radiance mask I'll just do that like, any mask and then that's like another video so that's already like 10 videos I did so you don't obviously have to film them all in one go but if you want to you can film 10 IG videos in one go and that will last you for 10 whole days or if you spread it out it can last you even longer bitch I'm going to show you guys some tips that I see a lot of people when they film Instagram videos. What kind of mistakes, not mistakes, but like when I watch them, I feel like it would be better if they did something else kind of thing, okay? So I'm going to show you like my little pet peeves. Obviously, you can take whatever you want the picture of salt, but I will just tell you when I'm watching videos, I find it annoying when people, they put a product into shot and then they take it away, but it's not in focus. Like just say this product here 
it's not in focus yet you have to wait until you can see all the freaking writing and then that is the clip you use a lot of people i don't know why they do it but they'll literally just put something in shot and then they'll cut it you can't even see what the product is you just see the outline of it but you can't see what the name is okay a lot of times when you film these videos you want the brands to notice the products you put in the video because then they'll kind of send you more products they'll think of you for the next campaign they'll think of you when they next want you to feature a new product they might put you on the PR list when a new product comes so that you might film with that product also okay so at the same time you have to be very smart when you're filming okay don't keep using the same products all the time because then it will look repetitive people like to see like new stuff even if you make like DIY masks people love seeing DIY masks like literally people love that so much for me it's just so much effort to film when people film DIY masks the videos always do really really well I'm going to show you quickly okay because my camera focuses quite quickly but look that's not in focus yet okay so you have to make sure you hold it until it goes clear like that a lot of people don't do that step i don't know why it's so easy just hold it there for two seconds longer ago my camera is a canon 80d so it auto focuses so it literally has a tracking device so when i move my head around it's going to track my head and if your camera doesn't have that then what you can do is you can film all your makeup and stuff like that and then at the end you can film your separate clips so you can just use this product here in front of your face like this and then afterwards once you finish then you do like come like this and just hold the product in shot so you can just take literally a clip. When you take it, all you need is just like a little like one second clip of it. One or two, two seconds clip. But you just want to keep it there so later on you can all edit it in. Also, a lot of times when people edit their videos, they put transitions in every single clip. I find that for me, it makes a video look longer than it is. Like for Instagram videos, if you don't know, you only have one minute, 60 seconds, okay? You can't be putting a fucking transition in every single bloody clip because it makes the video look one really, really dated when people put like a, a transition where it like changes the screen all the time it just makes it look really like choppy and it doesn't flow nicely so when I film I'll show you in a bit where I edit but you want the clip to be like boom 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 you don't want it to be like boom boom and then fucking wait and wait because people are not gonna stay around for that like, whole 60 seconds then you know and then a lot of people as well people like to see like reactions as well i know not everybody is gonna want to do faces and like pull silly faces and stuff obviously for me that's just my personality i'm always like oh fucking shit i'm like oh shit girl i'm like oh bitch i'm always like that in real life so i just wanted to show that in my instagram videos but obviously i know not everybody is gonna be like making all those faces and stuff like that don't be afraid to show your personality as well like just say if you put on a fucking good highlight you know you just be like <gasps> You know, even if you don't want to be like, oh shit, like, that's me. But you can just literally be like, and yeah, just look at the camera, make eye contact with the camera as well. A lot of people as well, I don't know why a lot of people do this. Even for YouTube videos, I find, but they constantly look at themselves in the viewfinder like this. Like, imagine if I'm doing the whole video and I'm just looking to the side like this. It's going to be so fucking annoying, bitch. Look at me in the camera, look at me in my eyes. I hope I didn't have a bogey in there. That happens to me before you know, in a video. I'm like, oh shit, I got bogeys in my fucking nose, bitch. I just cut the clip out. Literally, what I do as well, but just say if I want to feature a product, I'll hold it into shot like this, shake it around, and then I'll open it like this, and then I'll like unscrew it like this, and then I'll pour the product out. And then people just like to see like textures. They like to see like what it smells like, if it smells good. I don't know. I think stuff like that is always really interesting to see. And then also when you put it on, you try to like do things really, really closely as well. So you kind of pinch it and you're like, <gasps> so another tip that i have for you guys is to use hashtags don't be hashtagging video makeup mac i don't know you need to hashtag like more specific things with me i have like my set hashtags already in my notes so those hashtags they are good for video so when i go on to my explore page this is what i do to find new hashtags because if you guys don't know you need to make sure you change your hashtags every so often because otherwise your video will be shadow banned if you don't know what shadow banned is research it because a lot of people don't know what it is there's this website that my friend told me about and she told me that my video was banned and I was like what and I checked it up and my video was banned which is why my views wasn't as high and I was like what is happening I didn't know but Instagram doesn't tell you when your video is shadow banned I don't know if it's like a myth or something I don't know but basically if you keep using the same hashtags all the time for every single video Instagram's gonna think you're like a robot and basically it'll ban your videos from those hashtags so when you put the hashtag Tags in basically your video won't pop up you know when you click on the hashtag normally you will come up on the most recent kind 
the thing at the bottom but when you're shadow banned you don't pop up at all so only the people that go on your page can see the video which is so annoying guys honestly i can't tell you hashtags will help your life so much especially when you want to get reposted and stuff like that so you want to make sure you change up your hashtags every so often like even if you just change a couple of them and then also what i used to do is i used to put the hashtags in the comments don't do that guys because i found out that if you put it in the comment your video will be shadow banned because instagram will think that you're a robot is like spamming or like putting like loads of like usernames and stuff inside of the comments so then your video will get shadow banned it used to work before it doesn't work anymore so now what you have to do is you have to use it in your caption and it's so annoying because it makes your freaking caption look so long but you do have to do it because at the end of the day you want your video to be found right another tip as well i need to tell you guys because a lot of people i think they don't do this step so when you're doing hashtags you need to make sure when you're hashtagging like just say if you use a huda beauty product okay today i, I used a huda beauty desert dust palette when i do the hashtag later obviously I want to do hashtag Huda Beauty if you ever click on that hashtag it has like 10 million posts on there how likely is Huda Beauty gonna see your fucking post throughout that 10,000 post she probably won't so what you need to do is go on her page and see what hashtag she has for this specific product you need to go onto Huda Beauty's page most likely they're only going to use like two hashtags inside of their captions of their videos so most of the times it'll be like hashtag Huda Beauty and then there'll be also another hashtag like hashtag desert dusk palette or hashtag Huda Beauty desert dusk and then there's also another one like hashtag Huda Beauty summer solstice when you click on that hashtag it only has about 3,000 people posting so you're more likely to stand out in 3,000 rather than 10 million do you know what I mean yeah make sure you keep your eye out for new products they might have a specific hashtag that that brand is looking for like I know Anastasia Beverly Hills does it as well where they will have like ABH subculture palette or ABH subculture I think it's called so you want to make sure you go onto the brand page and see what hashtag they are using in their Instagram and you will copy them and then put that into your hashtag also when you do videos as well it's a really good way to do sponsored content this is a very tricky one because i do videos a lot of times you can kind of like it's not really too sponsory when i do a sponsored post do you know what i mean i still get like good interactions where sometimes when people never ever post a video then all of a sudden they post a video out of the blue and it's like fucking them drinking their slimming tea it's like so obvious that it's sponsored that it kind of puts you off the person i don't know is that just me when someone doesn't never ever post a video and then all of a sudden they're posting a video for like slimming tea and stuff like that and saying how amazing it is that talking in the video I'm just like cringy you know whereas if you film videos all the time and you have it consistent on your page when you slot in that little tea video it's not too bad I don't know it's just me that's what I think in my head it's not too sponsory looking I'm not saying that sponsored videos are bad or anything like that like us influencers we need fucking sponsored videos that's the only way we make a living like normal people with 9 to 5 job if you wanted to make more money for Christmas time, you just do a few more hours. Whereas for bloggers, we can't do a few more hours. There's like, we can't earn money that way. The only way we earn money is to accept more sponsors' jobs. A lot of times, that's why I don't accept a lot of things. So sometimes when I need money, sometimes I'm like, oh, God, I just have to promote that fucking tea, you know? I've never promoted tea on my channel before. But you know what I mean? You just have to like accept more stuff. So please do not give influencers a hard time for doing sponsored posts because that's how we make our money, bitch. We need to live, you know? get the pen to the twist okay guys so i talked so much about videos i just wanted to quickly say as well how i use music in my videos instagram is a funny thing because sometimes i see like big influencers i don't know if it's because they're verified or something something but a lot of their videos they use like pop songs they use like current chart songs in their videos and they don't get flagged was i don't know how they do it because a lot of times if you use certain songs that are like copyrighted your video will be taken down by instagram it'll be so annoying because you don't want to be that annoying person that keeps repeating posting their fucking video do you know what i mean so where i get my music from for my videos for instagram and for youtube it's called no copyright sounds they have like millions of followers on youtube so you probably will know them already but if you visit their youtube i'll leave the link down below but they have like really, really good songs and they're actually like really like catchy as well like, i literally just love listening to it even without instagram videos like, some of them have like lyrics some of them have like, really good beats and stuff like that and then what i do is i literally click on all videos and then i'll click on like most popular rather than most recent and then when you click on most popular you'll see literally like the whole first page when you listen to a song you'll be like oh i heard this before i heard this before because you see a lot of influencers use those tunes okay 
And then another one I've recently, like, only just started using it a couple months ago, it's called Monster Cat. Only because for me, I find that it's a little bit annoying, not annoying, but, like, a lot of people use no copyright sounds. So, it's kind of like, oh, when you can't find the exact beat that you want, and you just see everyone overusing that song, because obviously it's free. And Monster Cat, you do have to pay for it. I think, I can't remember how much it is, but you pay monthly for it, and you get a membership, and then you can use that, and they'll take you off the list for a uh, copyright. So, basically you can use that music as long as you credit them so all the time for both no copyright sounds and then for monster cat you meant to credit them in the caption and stuff like that so yeah that is another music website they have like millions and millions of followers so go check that out monster cat is really good because they have really good songs like lyric songs as well which i really like okay guys so those are my top tips for filming instagram videos but if you do want to see how i edit my instagram videos it'll be in another video so please make sure you subscribe before you leave and also leave a comment down below if you enjoyed these kind of videos and me talk about my little tips and stuff like that i can definitely film a bit more if there's any other questions you have comment them down below maybe i'll do like a q a on this because i want to do a little session on how to bring up your social media if i can do it you guys can too so please make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms it's just x tweetly on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook make sure you subscribe before you leave and enjoy the bloopers guys hi guys oh, i just slapped myself <laughs> today i'm going to talk about all Fuck! I got a fucking also my mouth is <laughs> fucking so painful. Is that right in the back of my mouth? <sighs> Let me just get comfy up in here. I've got some sweaty ass cheeks because it's so hot in my room right now, bitch. One second, I'll be back. Someone just DM me.